Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Zenitin, and welcome to today's video for Legends of Runeterra. It is spoiler season still, and we got a good spoiler today. Uh, we got Malphite spoil today. Besides Malphite though, uh, I believe we only have maybe one or two other cards, but there's still a lot to talk about because Malphite is a pretty sweet card, and there's a lot of implications uh, that Malphite brings as to theoretical decks we can bring and brewing in general. So. Let's go and take a look at Malphite. Okay, so it is uh, Malphite and two other cards. It's Chance Spell and some other random unit. Uh, anyway though, Malphite, seven mana, six, 10, tough. To level them up, you have to have summoned 12 plus mana of landmarks. At first, when I first saw this card, I thought Malphite was bad because I've read that wrong and I said, I saw, it said, I thought it said you had to have summoned 12 landmarks. And I was like, this is terrible. But 12 plus mana of landmarks is much, much easier. Uh, leveled up Malphite, though, is pretty much game winning. 7 mana, 7, 11, tough still. When I'm summoned or level up or round start, if you have the attack token, create an unstoppable force in hand. We can see what unstoppable force is on the right. A two mana slow speed spell. It has fleeting as well, so it can only be cast in that turn unless you remove fleeting somehow, of course. Uh, stun all enemies. This is pretty good. Uh, Malphite kind of brings to the field something that landmark decks have been missing for a while, and that is a way to finish the game. A lot of landmark decks, in my opinion, at least attempted landmark decks, always seem to struggle trying to just finish the game. And they were just using the Targon card star shaping to try and get a big Celestial to win the game, which was a little slow and not always efficient. Sure, this is also slow, but I think Malphite's actually a really good card. Very limited in terms of how he's played, and he's not gonna just go in any kind of deck like, um, I don't know, a Twisted Fate or something. Like, uh, it's like, oh, I'm in Targon, might as well play Malphite. Not kind of like, a, I, I guess, like Zoe. Zoe can pretty much go in any Targon deck. You're going to need a very synergistic deck for Malphite. But I think in that deck, the Landmark deck, Malphite's going to be nuts. Now, who do you pair with Malphite? Obviously, the first champion most people are going to think of, I think, would be Talia. Because Talia herself is also very Landmark-oriented. I will probably try Malphite Talia as well, but... In my opinion, I think there is a better combination. I think Malphite plus Zillion is better. I think you will play Malphite Talia if you want a second region that's not Sharima, but I think Zillion is better than Talia for the deck, and Sharima has a lot of good cards now, especially with the new cards that have been revealed recently. So... How, also, I guess we can talk about the champion spell. The champion spell is ground slam, Malphite's ground slam, four mana fast speed spell, stun a unit. A deal three to it if you've summoned a landmark this game, and of course, create a Malphite in your deck. This card's great. This card is actually really, really nuts Uh, for a lot of reasons. One, four mana stun a unit at fast speed, Uh, any unit, whether it's attacking or not, is already pretty decent. We we have seen this, uh, it's very similar to Concussive Palm in Ionia. Sure, you're not developing the board, but you are dealing some damage to a unit. Um, if you are playing Ground Slam, you have definitely at least already played one landmark, most likely, by the time you're playing the first Ground Slam. And the other reason I think this is good is it is a Targon card. Specifically, it is damage-based removal in Targon, something Targon doesn't have that much of. Sure, there's like, I guess, like, uh, Sleepy Trouble Bubble? Is that the card I'm thinking of, or is it, um, no, it's Paddle Star. I'm thinking of Paddle Star. Paddle Star exists, but it's not good. But this is pretty good. You can use it on both offense, on defense. It's just really good. And, uh, Gotcha. Gotcha is also similar to this. Like, in exchange for the stun, Gotcha has the sometimes temporary discount. And Gotcha, while it's not crazy good because it's in a region with Get Excited and Mystic Shot, this is in a, like, Ground Slam's in a region that doesn't have those things and is kind of desperate for removal. So I think Ground Slam is honestly maybe the best card here, except for maybe Malphite. I like Malphite. I think Malphite's strong. Uh, but yeah, so 
as for building a Malphite deck, I'm personally favoring Zillion. Zillion's time bomb, if I remember correctly, is a two mana landmark. Um, I think a very nutty start for a Malphite deck would be turn one chip, turn two rock hopper. The rock hopper is the uh, two mana three one that summons Roiling Sands. Roiling Sands, if I remember correctly, is also a two mana landmark. So that as well is uh, starting to level up the Malphite. Chip into Rock Hopper is what? That gives you a 3-3 three, three and a 3-1, and you have the rolling, Roiling Sands on the field to make it a little awkward for your opponent to play their own units. Pretty decent uh, start, in my opinion, for fighting for the board, because a Malphite deck definitely is not going to be that aggressive. It will be wanting to stall, and Chip and Rock Hopper help you stall a lot. Also, uh, Blue Sentinel. I was talking about Blue Sentinel in the when we were when he was spoiled. Uh, I think Malphite would love Blue Sentinel. I was talking about how Blue Sentinel compared to Mountain Goat, and I think most decks would rather prefer Mountain Goat because gems are just very valuable, and unless you need unless you have some really strong landmark synergy, you don't really care too much about Crest of Insight. Malphite loves Crest of Insight. Crest of Insight is a two mana landmark as well. Malphite himself says uh, you have to have summoned the landmarks. You don't have to play them. So these cards like Blue Sentinel and Rock Hopper will work towards a Malphite level up. Now, what other cards can we play to to work towards a Malphite level up? And we're I'm thinking so hard on this Malphite level up because a Malphite level up is not a guaranteed win. You can still deal with it. But if you can't kill a Malphite and if you can't kill your opponent through like some burn or reach or elusive or whatever... Malphite's going to win the game. He's going to be, he's really tough to kill through combat. Um, kind of similar to Nautilus. A uh, little smaller than Nautilus. Um, Nautilus, I believe, is at 13, 13 when he levels up. That's 26 stats. Malphite only has, what, 11 total stats? Or 18 total stats, sorry. But pre-leveled up Malphite actually does something on the board instead of just being a big wall of stats of health. Sure, Nautilus is a 0 12, he has more health, but Malphite actually kills things and puts pressure on the board with his 6 10 of stats. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, but yeah, uh, as for cards that you can play in a Malphite deck, um, Ancient Preparations to help smooth out the early game, Rockfall Pat to make it a little awkward for your opponent to play units. Um, I don't know if you'll play it, but I think Unraveled Earth, it's the. Uh, Three mana, I believe it's three. It might be two, but I'm pretty sure it's three mana. Earth speed spell, summon two roiling sands and draw one card. I like that card. That's uh that's basically one third of the way of leveling up Malphite because it summons four mana worth of landmarks for three mana and it cycles itself. So I really like that. And then you can even play like Desert Naturalist too, in case you have like ancient preparations or a preservarium or something. It, that you want to destroy to get a grumpy rock bear, or your opponent plays a landmark themselves, and you want to destroy it to uh, get a grumpy, or to uh, just destroy their landmarks. So all in all, Malphite, very very synergistic champion. Uh, he kind of lives and dies on landmark synergy. If landmarks are good, I think Malphite is good. If landmarks are bad, then well, Malphite himself is bad because. If you're not playing landmarks, then what's the point of playing Malphite? You're just playing a seven mana six ten. That's tough. If you're not even trying to level them up, and that's sure a seven mana six ten is not terrible in terms of stats, but you're wasting a champion slot, and you could play other champions like Zoe then or Aurelian Soul. So you really need to try to level up Malphite. But yeah, I think uh, I think Zillion is the perfect champ for him. Zillion, uh, the time bombs will help slow down the game to try and level up Malphite. The early predict from Zillion will just help smooth out the game so you don't get run over by aggro while you try to just spam landmarks and set up Malphite. Uh, and of course, Zillion's level up is really nuts. So that's pretty good too. Uh, and also I guess there are the uh, countdown landmarks and countdown advancing countdown effects you can try to do that but i don't think that is worth going into too much but maybe you can uh anyway though the last card stonebreaker this card i've seen some people say is kind of mediocre and honestly if it was in another region i would say it's mediocre too a six mana six four with no keyword is a little lackluster sure there's a playability we'll get to that later but you're overpaying by about a mana and a half like I'd be happy to summon a 4-mana 6-4. I'd be 
fine with a five mana six four, but a six mana six four is bad. Now though, the playability says if you have summoned four plus landmarks this game, deal four to an enemy and two to the enemy nexus. That is really good. Again, similar to Ground Slam, it's doing damage. It's damage-based removal in a region, specifically Targon, which doesn't have much removal. The two damage to the Nexus, in my opinion, is just like a little extra on top. But a, the way I look at this is a six mana six four that basically says deal four to something on summon, on play, not summon technically. Now, summoning four landmarks by turn six is a little tough, I'll admit. Like, sure, let's say like, let's say uh, going back to that deck I was theory crafting a bit, let's say like turn one ship. Turn two, Rock Hopper. Turn three, Blue Sentinel. Turn four, I don't know, like Salt Spire, Rockfall Path. And then turn five, I guess, like Unraveled Earth. I guess you could use Unraveled Earth to summon two of the four landmarks you need. I think it will be a little awkward to get a Stonebreaker on curve on six, like active on six. But I think this is a really powerful effect. Again, very limited in the kind of deck it goes into. This is literally only for landmark X, but four damage is a lot of damage. Uh, we know this because, well, Ravenous Flock from Noxus is a very powerful card. Sure, Ravenous Flock is only be, can only be used against damage or stun units. So uh, Stonebreaker, I guess, uh, is even a little better in that case. But yeah, I like the card. I'm a big fan of it. I will definitely be playing this as a three of in any landmark deck I build because this card is nuts. Uh, Target in general kind of struggles against wide boards or boards where you need to remove a specific thing. So Stonebreaker is going to help with that. So is Malphite's Ground Slam. But yeah, I think like I'll play like three zillions, three Malphites, three Stonebreakers, three Ground Slams three Unraveled Earth, three Chips, three Blue Sentinels, and three Rock Hoppers. Maybe a couple of uh, Soothsayers, too, is how I'm thinking of the deck already. I think this is a deck that has some potential to be good. The issue, I think, will be it's a slow deck, and it will struggle a little bit against, well, Lissandra Watcher, unless Lissandra Watcher gets nerfed. Because, again, Lissandra Watcher in the current meta kind of just says, like, oh, you better... Uh, either be able to win without a deck, which that's kind of tough, or you better be able to refill your deck or you better kill me before Watcher comes out, which I don't think, I think Malphite's going to struggle to do that because he's a seven mana champion. So I guess like maybe you play him on seven, have, have him leveled up already, have two spell mana, have unstoppable horse and hope your opponent can't not live for a turn to summon a Watcher. But yeah, I like Malphite. I'm going to play Malphite. He looks really fun. Uh, very mid-rangey, but dirtily mid-range, if that makes sense. And that's my kind of deck. I love some kind of dirtily slow deck, so I'm going to play this card. I'm so happy, though, because Blue Sentinel seems to be exactly... Or Malphite seems to be exactly what Blue Sentinel wants, and I like Blue Sentinel. Even though I didn't think it was that great compared to Mountain Goat, I can't wait to play him because Blue Sentinel is going to be pretty sweet with this guy. Hopefully Malphite's good. And hopefully this landmark synergy thing is good because I like target. Anyway, though, uh, that's it. Uh, not that many cards, only what, four, no, three cards for today. Uh, so not much to talk about. But yeah, I can't wait to play Malphite. Malphite is sweet. I don't know if Malphite is exactly what landmark players were looking forward to or looking, waiting for, really. Like Talia players specifically, I guess, because... I personally don't think Malphite goes with Talia better than he goes with Zillion. But I think Malphite will help push uh, landmarks into a somewhat competitive viability. I don't want to say I think Malphite will push into tier one, but I think at the very least, like a low tier two deck will be playing Malphite. Or it might just be too slow. Anyway, though. Uh, that's it. If there is, uh, if you have any ideas of how to build Malphite with, I, with someone else besides Talia or Zillion, I would love to hear your ideas because those are the only two champions I can really see. Maybe like some Zoe deck as well, because, you know, Zoe goes with like pretty much everyone. Maybe some like 
ultra late game deck with Aurelian Soul. I don't think they go together that well either. Uh, maybe Yasuo. I know some people are already being like, yeah, Yasuo. The problem I feel with Yasuo is uh, Ionia. What are you going to play for the landmarks in Ionia? Monastery of Hirana? <laughs> don't do that. Uh, anyway, though, uh, again, I hope you I would love to hear your ideas for uh, Malphite decks if you have any ideas. Uh, if you enjoyed the video in general, it would mean a lot if you could just leave a like or a comment down below. It always helps out the channel and helps me out. And if you want to keep up with the Runeterra content, you can always go and subscribe to the channel. It always helps me out. Uh, and if you want to watch me play some Legends of Runeterra, you can always go and check me out over on my Twitch account at twitch.tv slash I stream there pretty much every single day. Anyway, though, with that all said and done, that is Malphite. I hope you all enjoyed him. I loved him. Uh, but yeah, until I see you guys in the next video, though, uh, bye.